This is my first attempt at machining something. As you can see, it isn't perfect. Right here got messed up. Up here got messed up. And here got messed up. And I did this weird lines. That wasn't supposed to happen. It's supposed to be smooth like this. But this is number one. This is where we go from here. Today's entry is what I plan on doing to fix those issues. So uh, come over here and let me show you something. Let me explain what some of the issues were. The main issue is this movement and that was causing the bit to bob back and forth along that axis and that was making the machining kind of rough. The reason that happens is because these two bearings do not come out far enough to support the weight of my spindle. And a design that I used on 3D printer upgrade that I did did not work that well on this one. Primarily because of the weight. These two pivots right here and right here act like springs and they automatically tension these wheels on this bar so you don't have to worry about doing that. But because the spindle is so far out, the moment on these two bearings or on these two balls is too much. So as this thing machines, it starts just bobbing in this axis. It only does it in the X axis. The Y and the Z is perfectly fine. So the fix is I have to get rid of this design. Um, why it was cool, it won't work. I made a much larger bracket that has two bearings out here, two bearings here and then two bearings here on both sides. So I, instead of just having four bearings on this side, I have six bearings on each side. The way that the tension is a little bit different um, and I've beefed up the parts around it as well. So we'll uh, start taking this bad boy off and um, We'll uh, hopefully get the new one on sometime tonight. All right, quick update, guys. I've gotten the spindle off. I've gotten the Z-axis off. Now I'm going to take the old gantry off. Um, probably just have to take off a couple screws and it comes right out. The last piece of the new gantry is still being printed. It's going to take a while, but I can still put some of that together and get it ready for this and I can show you that process. So we're gonna finish taking this apart and then we're gonna move inside and work at the work desk. Got the old gantry off, comes apart in three pieces, three rollers on each side for the Z axis. And again, these are the ones holding the Y axis on these are going to get replaced with these. Much more substantial, much stronger. The uh, nice little bendy things. I don't know if you can see that bend. It does bend a little bit. Bends out though. No more, just huge chunks of plastic. Um, this is for the lead screw. This is just clearance for the rod, threaded rod. There's gonna be two of these, put them like this. Then I have two of these braces and they go in between like that. One on top, one on bottom. The bottom one is currently being printed. And then we have this part that screws on like this to these guys and you'll have six screws one two three four five six you'll have six screws on the z-axis like there was before comparison this first with this and then you'll have six one two three four five six on the y-axis on each side 
and this will go together a little bit either that easier than the other one but I guess I'll put together what I have now and um, hopefully tonight that'll be finished and I can at least get it assembled um, and somewhat put back on the machine so um, let's get working on these guys Tonight we'll see and hear firsthand this kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. into a small issue. When I designed these, inside that, the plastic is dimensioned so it grabs the nut and you can tighten down on it without having to use uh, another tool. But, apparently I made a mistake somewhere in the model and that now spins. So for the fix, use a longer bolt, use a washer, use a socket, good and new. So I'm going to continue on that path, kind of a bummer I did that, kind of takes away the clean look, but um, it is what it is. So let's get the rest of it together. guys I got everything that I have printed put together it looks and feels great it's strong and sturdy once I get this bottom part on it'll all lock together um, I think it'll be a huge improvement over what used to be there no more wobbly gantry last part won't be done for another I don't know, three hours four hours, five hour print and we're half, less than halfway done. So yeah, about three more hours before it's done. So I'm gonna go put this on the machine, make sure it all works the way I planned on it. I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'll have the final product ready for you in the next video and I hope they will be machining something. You all know, enjoy the rest of your day, take care. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.